Today is going to be kind of a sad day. I've been avoiding making this video for a long time because it was a horrible time in my life. Worse than my childhood. Worse than being raped. Worse than... Probably worse than anything that I've had to endure in my entire life. He has a name. The fact that I wonder if I should use his name and slander his ass. Or should I give him a fake name? I'll ponder it. Give me a minute. His name is Steven. We'll go with that. <clears throat> I met Steven at a hotel that was having a party. Uh, I was <clears throat> quite a bit younger um, than him. He had the sack. He was the big dealer in the town. <clears throat> he known for it known for making it, known, and you know, a big heroin, uh, a big heroin junkie. Uh, he's also, as, as he would call it, legendary. Well, if he was so legendary, well then, he is who I needed to befriend, because... I was strung out. I was pretty hot. And I wanted his drugs. So I found out his phone number. I don't I don't know exactly how I came about that. But um I got his phone number and I texted him, I said, hey, this is the lady in red. Let me explain this to you. Lady in red, when I saw him at that hotel, I had bleach blonde hair. And it was pretty much almost to the middle, maybe longer. It's almost to the top where my hips were bleach blonde um i was wearing a red romper if you remember those um and at this party i i noticed that he was checking me out and uh and i was okay with that because he had the sack okay so he ended up giving me some heroin at that party. And so he knew who I was and that's all I cared about. Because I was going to use my looks to, to get me what I needed. So I texted him. You know, that I wanted to... Uh, wondered if he wanted to sit and talk or anything, you know. Hook up. And I was, I said, it was the lady in red. Well, I was literally, like, parked. Like, I don't know, two or three houses down. And so, and when I told him that, he was, like, outside in, in a quickness. And we hung out that night. We didn't do anything. We just hung out. Um... We partied. We went to the Blue Star, which is a Oregon um, it's an Oregon rest stop. So Blue Stars, they're owned by Blue Star, and so that's where we hung out. Was at Blue Star in Talent. So, you know, we hung out that night, and then. He gave me some for a couple days, and in a couple days, I sent him another message like, hey, you want to hang out? 
And so he was he was getting out of the house. He was home with his wife. And he was, you know, lying to her and saying that we're going to go do stuff um, with his friends. He was. And so it went on like that for a good, I don't know, couple months. You know, we just hung out and get high. Um... We didn't mess around until later. Um, and pretty much... I had no... I, by this time, I knew that I was going to be stuck with him. Because of... The way he acted, you know, already. Um... So, he pulled into his driveway one time with me. He was driving my car. And I didn't want to have any part of being at his house with his wife there. And he insisted that I stay there and I wait for him. And so, I was pissed. I was pissed, one, because he's putting me in a predicament where I'm going to have to defend myself. And so here she comes out the door, and then he was, you know, right after her as they were fighting. I got mad, and I put my foot up on the dash, and I said, let's go! And I hit the window with my shoe, and it broke. Uh, I remember seeing stars at that moment. He reached in and he hit me so hard in the face that I couldn't see straight. I I felt like his his hand went clear to the back of my head and punched through it. He's hit me that hard. Mind you, he used to be a heavyweight champion. Not a champion. A heavyweight boxer in prison. So he he's he hits hard. So, anyways, I got his attention, <laughs> and he got back in the car, and instantaneously, instantaneously, he was pissed that I had done anything at all to make him mad. And so, I, I mean, I was crying because he hit me so hard. And then he stops at that, at that Blue Star place again. And I tell him that I have to use the bathroom. And he wouldn't let me because he didn't trust me. He said I was going to take off. First of all, you got my fucking car, dick. And I'm not going to leave you with my car. I mean, I had a nice Audi. And, uh... Anyways. So that was the first time he hit me. And then... So... I asked him... Are you going to let me go to the bathroom or what? And he said, go. So I started in there. And I'm crying because I want to run. And I can't. And So I, I go in the bathroom. And... I, I don't remember if I had to wait for a stall or, or what. Anyways, so I go in the stall, and when I come out, he's standing there in the woman's bathroom. And uh, he escorted me out of there. So that was my first 
That was my first incident with Steven. 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 Steven Sack. Anyways. So, that was the first of very many. And I will not leave you hanging. I might do it today or tomorrow or, you know, the next. What happens next? Love you guys. Bye.